Hey everybody, welcome back into Old Mountain Bricks. We've got a Lego City update here for you today. We've got some sorting to do. We're going to try and make some improvements here to the Lego City, maybe in the beach, maybe finish the train yard, maybe work on some more roads. A lot of infrastructure is going to change and we've got some exciting things going on. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what's going on today. So when we go away sometimes, we get a little jumbled up, we'll say, as far as what's been actually going on in the city. Uh, you can see we've got a few other things going on over here, like the DeLorean we need to place, or the not DeLorean, if you saw that video, um, and then a few other things we've been waiting on. we got a big bag of pieces over here we're going to be checking out, so let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what we're able to improve now. And here's the ultimate workstation. I've already gotten a lot of the drawers out I think I'm going to need uh, next to the Galaxy Explorer. And this fun little set, which is going to help us put everything together, right? So here's the big old bag, at least $200-ish worth, I think, if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and sort that out and see what we've got on a nice time lapse for you. Okay, we've got all that sorted out now, so let's just take a quick look at what we picked up. Two by two of the dark bluish gray of just the tile, the ones with the stud slash jumper. We've got like the two by four to use for like the road plates. We've got the one by four we're going to be using for road plates as well. And the one by two, again, all of that's basically to finish the roads. As well as this is to finish the train tracks. There we've got more of these printed one by four on like the nougat color and then more of the, just the two by four we've got the one by twos and the one by one tiles we picked up a few of these uh, zebra crossings because i found out it's just a little bit cheaper just to order them like this because i don't need as many of the actual road plates themselves we've got the two by two uh light bluish gray with the jumper stud so that'll be helpful again to finish up the road plates and water detail, I believe this is like the medium azul and then the dark azul color there for water. Over here is what Lego calls like dark yellow, but I think it's like the actual like dark tan that I can use for like wet sand for the beach area. So, and some one by one studs of that, which is the only ones that were individually bagged. So, hey, I'll take it, but it took it a while to get it all sorted out, but I'm glad that we did. Let's see if we could put some of this to use here today. Alright, and here's what's been going on. So we've got that whole back section here, ballast, going around the corner. We are still missing a few of these type pieces, or we ran out is really what happened. So going around here, here's kind of the updated old train engine shed that you can kind of see. I've updated that, taking off the uh, like dark reddish brown and kind of putting in the nougat to match the rest of my train system. I'm going to experiment with a few uh, sections here in order to kind of ballast that there. I know there's other ways to do it, and I'm not planning on doing the hard way at the moment, but I think it's still going to get the point across for what I'm wanting it to be, so that's fine. You can see kind of our split situation going on, but again, I don't mind what that looks like, but I think the rest of it looks pretty good like so we just need a few last pieces over here and i think this will be all finished up 
And here is the view out front. It kind of brought off the train so you can kind of see it a little bit there. Obviously, like I said, we've got a few pieces to fill in, but it is looking nice going around there. And I think it just adds a nice pop of color compared to how it was before with just like the dark bluish gray on the dark bluish gray. So I think the train tracks are looking great. Look at all that. Woo! And they're definitely going to pop even more once we continue some of the vegetation detail as we continue moving through there. And I want to add a little bits and pieces kind of in between the tracks, like rocks and such, to further break it up. But that'll be down the line sometime. But now it's on to the final countdown of finishing up the road plates for the city. Let's go ahead and finish those up. So we've got them ready assembly line style here. This big old stack of mills, road plates ready to go. I've got all the tiles I need to finish off the sidewalk detail. And then we're gonna make some of the custom T intersections there with some of the parts we picked up. And I think that will finish up our basic road infrastructure. Of course, if we get some more buildings, it might have to change, but it'll be at least one step closer. And the train tracks and the road system will all be complete for now. Okay, we've got our construction steamroller ready to hit up some roads here. So let's see what we were able to accomplish. Boom. Might not look like much, but that's hundreds and hundreds of pieces. The biggest thing we did is we did this kind of uh, T intersection that has like the pullout for the fire brigade using like some cheese slopes in order to kind of slope it down with the line break in order to get to the road. I still need to figure out what we're doing like for speed bumps that I will determine once I kind of get it in place. We've got another T intersection kind of for in front of the daily bugle and the rest of these bad boys are all the straights. So, oh man, look at them. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight so a ton of road plates ready to go for the city it's the moment i've all been waiting for i finally have all of this done it took a lot longer than i thought it was going to from when i said hey i'm gonna do mills plate roads um and by the time we got all the pieces got more road packs more miscellaneous brick for like the underlying brick and then the plate to do the sidewalk correctly it was a ton of ton of investment and ton of pieces and are ready to go ahead and finish up this part of the city. So just a quick look on where we're standing now. So we're missing a straight there. This is going to be a road that goes all the way down there. That curb needs to scoot over. It's going to go by there. That's where the T is going to go. More road here uh, and then the T in front of the fire brigade and I think one more road right there but that should hopefully fill up the grid for us so let's go ahead and pop them in all right we finally have our roads put in there as you saw I struggled just a little bit just making sure I had all the little plates that make sure everything was connected because when you do this it causes a little bit of separation and I want the roads to be the main grid holding our city together. So now we have our main street here with the fire brigade at the back. I'm not sure if I like all the yellow speed bumps there. Um, in my mind it kind of made sense, but I like the pop of color more than anything else with it. But it then comes down here. And then of course does connect down there. You see Sandman ripping out of the road there. And we've got a road now in front of Assembly Square as well. And that road comes around, goes around a curve. We've got another crosswalk right there. 
goes around the last curve and connects back over. I tried to give you the bird's eye view with the time lapse there, but this is pretty good as well if you can kind of see the whole thing together. So ideally it's one of the last roads we're going to do until we have some sort of major expansion, right? I don't need another Lego table, right? <laughs> But I'm hoping to transition some sort of uh, dirt slash gravel road in between there and over here. But this whole part of the city is still kind of to be decided. I think I'm going to work on the beach area as one of my next projects. I've kind of been collecting pieces in order to do that. But as far as like the nature area, that's a whole other project we'll tackle eventually. But I think at least the main part of the city here... We have uh, kind of destroyed all our stories and minifigures and other vehicles. Ice cream's on the railroad track. Same with this thing here. So I think we're going to need to straighten that up here next. Okay, that is much better. So we've got a few vehicles back on the road we've added a few stories going on around there there's a whole lot going on in this little thing i'd like to build a mock one day but we'll just kind of have to wait for now my favorite is uh whiplash and electro kind of having a little fight over there with electricity and just a lot of fun battle type things going on we've got some dc with uh killer croc and the joker and catwoman or batgirl sorry and Batgirl and a few other CMFs and everything. We've got Tony Stark rolling up about to talk to this cop there. The brown van, Indiana Jones, the Ghostbusters, Ecto-1, the giant Lego truck taking up a whole two base plates back there. Again, Sandman, the taxi, the bank truck, a bus, the moving van. One of my favorites, the Land Rover Defender and the burger truck. Oh, looking pretty good. And we're not getting a lot of separation, so I think everything's looking pretty good now. So I think we've made it to a pretty good point here in the Lego City. Now we can start adding a few more buildings. We've got a bunch of modular buildings under the table still we need to add that'll fill in this block and the other one there and along the back. So we're already starting to fill it up. But I think that's going to do it for today. I think we've got a lot done in the Lego City. We're finally done with the roads. Woohoo! So no more of that, hopefully, on the channel, at least for a little bit. So we'll get a break. One of the next projects, like I said, I want to start tackling the beach a little bit. And then just a few other details and some modular buildings as we move things along. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it on the way out. Subscribe, because we've got a lot of good stuff coming your way. Comment what you think of how the Lego City's looking. Until next time, thanks for coming by Old Mountain Bricks today. Have a good one. Thank mm -hmm. you.